so for this trick it works better with a 50 cent piece and not like a quarter or anything something bigger like this so if you have a 50 cent piece or if you live like out of the states get a big coin like this so yes let's get into it this trick is relatively easy but it does take some practice now i'll be completely honest with you i'm not really a coin guy i know this is super super visual and that's why i wanted to show it to you guys but i'm more of a card guy i like coin stuff it is amazing if you are good at coin magic props to you man or girl because it's tough so let's just get into this and i'm still not the greatest at it as you just saw in the beginning so we are learning together so yes let's do it okay so 50 cent piece right what we're first going to do is the appearance now this the appearing in the coin looks amazing it's it's like it's stupid easy but it looks amazing okay now if you don't want to do this you can do this which looks just as good but i prefer like making it appear so the way you do that as you just saw it's super super easy so you're gonna hold your hand like this like you're saying okay or like you're saying like or the whole like ah, I made you look and then you punch them or something like that right sponsor me Nike so you're going to have your hand like this and the coin is going to rest here in between the third section of your index finger okay so it's going to rest like this right so and you're going to put it like this right so obviously you're not gonna be like oh okay dude so you're gonna face face forward okay now if you have the actual balls to do this for somebody props to you okay because this is very angle sensitive so looking straight forward at this it looks so good right so you're going to get your finger and now what i realized is that like if you have your finger like peep through a little bit like if you see it right there now this is don't get any thoughts you nasty so if you have your so what you're gonna do is basically just like grab the coin and push it through and as you push it through since it is uh, flush with your finger like this standing once you push it through it's actually just going to flatten out okay that was weird so it's actually just going to so you're grabbing it like this right so since your fingers are facing this way the coin is gonna go this way right physics or just common sense why did i say physics i failed physics go side once you grab you're just gonna go like this and grab it from the bottom edge and you're just going to plop it out and that's it it looks like you're popping it out of thin air it really does i wouldn't say do it like have hold it so lightly so it, lo it looks kind of weird where it's just like not holding it lightly i'm not gonna say like freaking death grip you know but it's like if you're good if death grip it's gonna it's so weird but if you just like hold it with enough tension it looks like you're really like popping it out of thinner it looks amazing okay so that is the first part super super easy and it looks so freaking good okay so the third part the, the third part the second part is the vanish which is this vanish right i tried to do it like just having my hands static like this but basically the move is your bringing this hand does nothing this hand is just a cover so this hand is basically just doing this right so as like you're motioning like it's it's supposed to be sort of like this right that's so weird <laughs> this this trick is like not great when you're doing it slow so okay so <laughs> so you're going to go here right so you're going to grab the coin like this with your tree fingers like the ninja turtles so you're gonna go this right so then once you put it in here you are going to have your thumb pop out and you're going to put the coin right there and it's going to rest on your hand on the back of your hand but from here that looks so good right so you are going to you're here right put the coin in you're going to put the coin in you're going to pop this out put it back there put your thumb back in right and then you're gonna slowly open your left hand show that it is gone right and you can you can like if you place it in the right place you can do this and it won't really move right or it won't move at all so you can like have this right you'll feel it it's there right so then you're going to act like you're grabbing it out of thin air 
close your hand again, push it again, it's just the same action. You're just going here and then in. And then slowly, bah, sun, boom. And there you go. And that is it, my friends. So let's just break that down a little bit slower, okay? So some tips with this that I've seen, which doing it for a camera, which like I said, if you have the balls to do it for a person, that's amazing. But for a camera, it's you have to, it's very angle, this trick is very angle sensitive. You know, you can't do it behind your back. You can't uh, have people behind, um, really on the sides, or it just has to be like, maybe for one or two people, if you're doing it for a person or the camera like this one. And I suggest, if you are starting to learn this, wear a sweater because first of all, I'm dying because these crazy lights, I'm sweating. But the sweater helps, if you put it back here, the sweater helps it, the card, the card, the coin not really move, you see? Because if it was right here, it can like move back, you see? So it helps the coin not move if you are learning this for the first time. If you are super comfortable with it after a while or you're an expert and you're writing down in the comments, man, dude, you suck. That's fine, I do suck. It helps with the coin not falling, okay? And actually, if you like lick your hand or just put some spit or like some Vaseline or something, it could, the coin can stick and it will not move. So that's up, totally up to you. But like I said, with angle sensitive stuff, so you're going to put the coin, remember like this, right? You're gonna put the coin in. Now, be careful. I'm just gonna hold the coin right here in the palm. I'm just gonna actually talk about this stuff because you're gonna do this a lot. You're gonna you're gonna have your you're gonna have your thumb move a lot, right? So what I like to do is actually go in motions because if it is just static, see you see that you have to go either like really like under like around your around your uh, hand so it doesn't so your thumb doesn't show. You see that? And even then you have some hand movements. So. If you keep your hand static, which I wanted to do, but I realized it's not very like great. Once, if you move your hand like this, the bigger motion hides the smaller motion. The bigger motion hides the thumb moving, okay? Because if you are here, see, you have to be really careful because you see that right there? It can pop out or if you go under or if you go over a little bit. So it, the bigger motion covers, so I, what I do is I, up and then I go in and then at the same at that time I'm putting the coin right here and then back back the same motion just in and then out and then now your thumbs are already in and then who bam son oh it's magic oh snap right so then you're gonna grab right and at this point obviously the coin is on the floor so at this point the coin is right here right so you are going to grab right and then you are here at this point right so you're going to obviously go right here and the bigger motion again it's kind of like it's kind of like if you're like it's in there it's kind of like kind of like um kind of like if you're snapping boom right so you give like a little bounce right because you I mean you can snap like that but if you go like ah, bam son right so the it, it kind of justifies of you going like this it's kind of like you're like really appearing out of nowhere like it's in your hand but it's like invisible or something or just like it's appearing if you do this right if you do this like oh boom like he's really like bringing it out of thin air okay so you're gonna go so it's right here right so then you're gonna go Whoa right oh i got it right here right and then bigger motion covers and you're just sliding it back and then you're going and it's in there and then slowly boom and then you show your hands clean and then what i like to do which is my favorite vanish because it's super super easy it uses the it uses the thumb palm which is just this and as you're throwing it in there hey bam then but that's optional, that is just a nice little closer. You don't really need it because you made the coin appear and then disappear and then you made it appear again. So you don't wanna get like too repetitive, but it's totally up to you. I like doing it, but like I said, it's totally up to you. So let's go over one, one more tip and then we'll close this out, okay? So one more tip, which I found out it looks very it's it's a convincer for sure when you're putting the coin in your hand like this right if you have your fingers just closed 
your windows. When you have your fingers just closed like that, it doesn't really like justify. I mean, not that it doesn't justify, but it's just kind of like, I mean, I mean, you're putting your coin in there, but just to give more of a bit of more of a convincer, when you're closing your hand, you have your fingers open. You're not going to have your fingers open like this, you know, like freaking bear claw, but you have your fingers open just a tiny, tiny bit. You could, you could see right through your hand. So when you're closing, it's really just showing like, okay, yeah, it's really going into my hand. Okay. And then you do the, see, you saw that? So snap. Get it. So <laughs> that's gonna happen a lot once you're going see you put your hand in right and that just it just looks like Kind of like little window shades like it just looks like it just looks good So you just which looks better. Okay, trust me on that. So you got the coin you go here or you got the coin Oh, okay here and then boom bah, Right like that second one just with this just looks so friggin good you know, and then here, here, you get the point, okay? Who knows how many times I've dropped this damn coin? Who knows how many times you will drop your freaking coin? So, do not get frustrated because I did. You'll get it, okay? I promise you will get it. Let's go over it one more time, all of it, and then we'll close this out, okay? You can have your hand at the beginning like this already, like, okay, here you go. Bam, or you could just bring it down and then it's already on your side. So you're going here and then you're going bam, right here. So then you're gonna showing fair and very clean because it's true, you're not hiding anything. You're gonna go, so we're gonna go here, right? And then bigger motion hides the smaller motion. Bam, okay, I'm going this kind of fast. So it's not like the cleanest, okay? So you're gonna grab here, imaginary coin, so then you're gonna go again. Oh snap, see, I got stuck. Bam, here, and then I like to do that thing, but you don't really need it, okay? Oh, one more thing, okay. So you saw how I was dragging it like this, and it got a little stuck. I don't know if it's just like the friction of the coin going across my hand, or my skin, or whatever it is. It does not matter, okay? The coin, first of all, you made it appear, right? And then you made it disappear with this so if you are making it reappear and you and you taking a long time it's fine to milk it because you don't really want to go here gah right like it's fine if you like honestly like if you milk it because it looks more magical like it really does take your time with this okay take your time it is very very good and it can look if you practice this if I practice it more than I already do, I don't practice it that often, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but I practice it enough-ish to where it looks like, okay, so if you practice this, this can look super freaking magical, okay? I really enjoyed this trick. I, it's very, it's, it's like stupid visual, okay? It's like super, super, super visual, and who doesn't love a visual good magic trick? Everybody does. This is so good, okay? My name is Santiago Castillo. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment, share the video with your friends, your family, everybody. And I will catch you guys in the next video.